after week 14 in the NFL season, we have seen some changes to the AFC playoff picture. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe and welcome to this AFC Playoff Picture edition of Believer's Talk where we're going to take a look at the current AFC Playoff Picture after 14 weeks in the 2020 NFL season. Again, thank you for joining me. My name is Joe. If you're new to this channel, guys, please be sure to hit that subscribe button for continual Buffalo sports, including our Buffalo Bills coverage and keep you up to date on the AFC playoff picture. Also giving you my picks every single Wednesday, picking against the spread and straight up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment. What do you think of the current AFC playoff picture after 14 weeks of the NFL football season? Only three weeks to go, guys, until the playoffs start. And listen, for some teams, including our Buffalo Bills, Week 14 worked out pretty well, right? You talk about the Bills beating the Steelers. You talk about the Dolphins losing to the Chiefs. And even though the Steelers lost, it still didn't work out as bad for them as originally thought with the Browns losing to the Ravens on Monday Night Football. Hard to believe Steelers fans were actually cheering for the Ravens on Monday night, but there were some changes in the playoff picture. So we're gonna talk about those. We're gonna talk about the changes that did happen. We're gonna talk about some clinching scenarios heading into week 15, including some clinching scenarios for our Buffalo Bills. And we're also talking about who clinched what in week 14. So let's start with the number one seed and the changes start right away after week 14 with the Steelers lost to our Buffalo Bills and the Chiefs win over the Miami Dolphins. The Chiefs are now the number one overall seed. Now, if you look at the current AFC playoff picture, there are two teams that have clinched playoff spots. The Chiefs, who clinched their playoff spot at the end of week 13. However, after week 14, they have now clinched the AFC West. It's the fifth year in a row that the Kansas City Chiefs have won the AFC West. And the Steelers have also clinched a playoff spot with the Miami Dolphins lost to the Chiefs. The Pittsburgh Steelers clinch a playoff spot. Still first place in the AFC North. However, they have not clinched the North just yet. Still only two games up on the Cleveland Browns with the Steelers loss on Sunday to our Buffalo Bills. They have yet to clinch the AFC North, but they do clinch that playoff spot. Right now, sitting at the two seed, like we said, these two uh, teams swapped the Bills Beating the Steelers make the Steelers move down to the two seed. The Chiefs beating the Dolphins move them up to the one seed. So right now the Chiefs are the one seed. The Steelers could still take that number one seed if the Chiefs lose another AFC game. The Chiefs have three games remaining. This week's a big game, but it does not mean as much in the AFC playoff standings. The Chiefs play the Saints. The Saints can the number two seed in the NFC playoff picture. It's going to be a fun game to watch. It's going to be huge. But if the Chiefs lose that game, they're still going to hold the number one seed. The Chiefs need to lose to an AFC team in, or, or lose two of the last three in order for the Steelers to retake that number one overall seed. The Chiefs' remaining schedule looks like this. They got the Saints this weekend, then they got the Falcons, and they got the Chargers. So they only have one game against an AFC team left. So the Steelers really have to hope that they lose this weekend and then lose one of their two remaining games. And then you look at the Pittsburgh Steelers, like I said, drop down to that two seed with their loss on Sunday Night Football to our Buffalo Bills. But they're still looking good when it comes to the AFC North. They do have to be careful because they still Still, they do not have the tiebreaker against the Buffalo Bills. Bills only one game back, sitting at that three seed, hoping the Steelers lose one more game and the Bills can jump on it. Probably will not be in week 15. Week 15, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers play the Cincinnati Bengals. We all know since Joe Burrow's injury, the Cincinnati Bengals just have not looked good. Uh, so the Steelers might have a coast victory this weekend, but they still have some tough competition coming up. I think they have the Colts still on their schedule and they have the Browns. So let's not count the idea that the Buffalo Bills can get that number two overall seed. Moving down, you do see the Buffalo Bills currently sitting in the in the three seed, have not clinched anything yet. Only those two teams have clinched anything in the AFC, but plenty of opportunity for the Buffalo Bills to clinch 
um, multiple things in week 15. They play the Denver Broncos on Saturday afternoon at 4.30. Make sure you join me right here on Believer's Talk for, for um, player play and reaction coverage to that game. You can watch it on NFL Network and hang out with me and some others from Bill's Mafia as we watch the game together and celebrate what we hope to be a playoff berth, if not an AFC East title. Now, we won't know about the AFC East until Sunday, but with a win, the Buffalo Bills will be in the playoffs for the second year in a row. And with a win and a Miami Dolphins loss to the Patriots on Sunday, the Buffalo Bills will clinch the AFC East for the first time since 1995. You go down to that fourth seed and no change there either. The Tennessee Titans stand at 9-4. and four. Currently first in the AFC South, tied with the Indianapolis Colts. Both teams have a 9-4 and four record. However, the Titans did beat the Colts earlier this season. They well play again, and it should be a good matchup. So you, you should expect to see these two teams fighting it out until the end of the season. The Tennessee Titans currently hold that spot because of that tiebreaker. In Week 15, the Titans play the Detroit Lions. Now, the Lions will probably be without Matthew Stafford, so the Titans looking like they should get a win in Week 15. However, they won't clinch anything with a win, but they still do sit at that number four spot. Moving on to the wild card teams. You look at the Cleveland Browns sitting at that five seed with a nine and four record. The Browns losing to the Ravens on Monday Night Football. Uh, they still hold that five seed with the Dolphins losing to the Pittsburgh or to the Kansas City Chiefs in week 14. Now week 15 for the Browns, it doesn't get much easier. The record might say that they're not a good team, but this New York football Giants team is playing a little bit better. Okay, they did just lose this past weekend, but they're right there in the NFC East trying to continue to bang on the door and win that division. So Sunday night football, you got the Cleveland Browns playing the New York, New Jersey football Giants. If the Browns win that one, they solidify their shot at a wild card spot. They still can catch the Steelers in the AFC North, but with their loss to the Ravens, they are now two games back with three games to go. They do play the Steelers week 17. Then the Indianapolis Colts set your sixth seed. Your sixth seed, the Indianapolis Colts, again, tied with the Tennessee Titans when it comes to records, sitting at nine and four in the AFC South. However, like I said earlier, because of that tie break, they do not hold... Uh, they do not hold that tiebreak against the the Titans, so they're sitting at the sixth seed at nine and four. The uh, Indianapolis Colts play the Houston Texans on Sunday, so with a win, again, solidifying their chance to be a wild card team at least, if not make a make a run at the AFC South. The seventh seed falling down one spot after losing to the Kansas City Chiefs. The Miami Dolphins sitting at eight and five, again two games back of the Buffalo Bills playing the New England Patriots this weekend and guys again as a Bills fan are you really going to cheer for the New England Patriots because again with the Bills win and the Dolphins lost the Patriots uh, the Bills clinch the AFC East so the Dolphins looking obviously to win that game with the Ravens win on Monday night the Ravens now have a tied record with Miami Dolphins it might be tough for the Dolphins to hold on to that number seven spot we look at the teams on the bubble currently in the hunt. Really, to me, there are only two teams left in the hunt, and that's the Baltimore Ravens, again, beating the Browns on Monday Night Football, moving to 8-5. The Baltimore Ravens have a pretty easy matchup in Week 15, playing the Jacksonville Jaguars. And then you look at the Las Vegas Raiders, still holding on to hopes that they can clinch a playoff spot. The Las Vegas Raiders on Thursday night play the LA Chargers, so a divisional matchup. The Raiders looking to move to 8-6, and six, or I'm sorry, to... Yeah, to eight and six and keep their playoff chances alive. I believe they're gonna have to at least go ten and six to make the playoffs. You look at this AFC playoff picture, I really do believe that you'll have to go 10 and six or better to have a chance in the playoffs. So again, guys, let me know what you think about this AFC playoff picture. Do you think the Bills have a realistic shot at that number two seed? You look at the Bills remaining schedule and we have the Broncos on Saturday. We have the Patriots week 16. Then we end with the Dolphins week 17. Can we surpass the Steelers? Or are we just going to be happy with the number three overall seed? Listen, I'll be happy with a division victory. So let's get there first. Again, a win on Saturday clinches us a playoff spot. A win and a Dolphins loss 
clinches the AFC East. If the Steelers win, they clinch the AFC North, or if the Browns lose, they clinch the AFC North. So that's something to look forward to if you're a Steelers or Browns fan in week 15 as well. Only three weeks left to go in what has been a fun and crazy season. A lot of craziness around this world right now. It's good to see football. It's good to have these playoff uh, pictures to look at. It's good to have our Buffalo Bills on top of the division. I'll talk to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.